Take two. Take two. <laughs> now, this is a sampler that was done by Jane Van Oys, who married Biles, I think Charles. I have all that information. She was born in 1877 and died in uh, 1817, excuse me, and died in 1877. She did this in 1829 on November uh, 11th. Mm -hmm. So, in two weeks, this is going to be 184 years old, and it really shows it's a family treasure. Along with this, I have their Bible. That's one of the uh, grandfathers up there, and that's all hand tinted, painted on top. Plus, I have a shoebox full of calling cards, an 1870 something diary from one of her descendants. But from a historic standpoint, and I like history, this is the most relevant piece I've come across in all my searches, and uh, I'll eventually give it to, unless I die hungry, uh, I'll give this to the museum, you know? And when I show this to the librarian and stuff, she hasn't seen this shit. Mm -hmm. She's gonna just flip out, you know, because it really is relevant to the people that live in this area and the historical significance. So, how did you get a hold of this stuff? I got on an online auction. This, that, and that's a wonderful story in itself. It was up in New York, right across up over the border, a little bit. And it was in a house that was going to be destroyed. And then it goes through. This is found inside a crawl space in the attic in a very particular stash spot, like it was gold. To them, mm -hmm. and yet not obvious enough to find, and so the house could have very easily been destroyed with this content, and nobody would be the wiser. But they really, really love it. Let me show you the box that I got that came with. It's amazing, isn't it? That's pretty cool. That's a nice piece of history. That was to show her skills so they can marry her off. So look what she can do, you know? <laughs> wow. Long gone, oh, yeah. and I've forgotten. So let's see, so how old was she? 17, was it? 60. No, 18, 17, 1829, so that's what? Look at these treasures. 12 years old? Yep, 12 years old. These are all reward merits of certificate for doing good in school. And uh, here's one too, and they're all from home at Sperry, and, and these kids really prized because they got them as rewards. This was the bookmark that was in the Bible. And you can see it's from Tawanda. In the Bible, the Bible itself was bought. It has the date it was bought. This is an 1870 diary from one of her descendants. Every single freaking page is filled in. And I mean, I don't have the time Looks to read it. Looks like a pack it. of gum. The way they make packs of yeah. gum. Yeah, we have to translate it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, she really wrote her life. You could, for a year, if you read this like a book, you could become uh, totally engrossed within her life. This is another one of the special pieces. This is after the Civil War. Again, with the American Eagle on there and speaking about liberty and whatever. Again, that's Helen Biles. Mm -hmm. uh, this was Joan Van Oy, Jane Van Oy Biles, and that's uh, Lime Hill, Pennsylvania. So when are you going to have the, the, the debut, debut on this thing? What's the date? Uh, uh, um, uh, sometime. And then it's got letters. It's got calling cards from all over Tawanda. This, these are just unbelievable Victorian pieces, names on, on many of them. There's M, M, L Biles. And the Biles are, like I said, really big. They have uh, their own cemetery. There's a photo in here somewhere. They're amazing, I tell you. All, yeah, of, these, you <laughs> all of these cards of postcards that were mailed to Helmets Ferry to the Biles, and they're nonstop. Wow, well, look at the handwriting on there in the back. Yeah, oh these God. are, and to, to study it, I don't have the time to do it, but the librarian up there would freak to do it, uh, ends up putting together an entire capsule of these people's lives. There's handwritten family history here. There's a photo, too. I don't know where the hell the photo is of one of them. I usually put that to the bottom so it doesn't get messed up. But 
But like I said, this all could have been destroyed because the house was being leveled. And if this guy didn't go into the small crawl space and find it, he I bought the sampler at a good price. It was over three hundred dollars for just the sampler, but uh, it's it's a good piece and. In the right market, it's worth five times or more of that. But to this town, it's worth a great deal. Price it's priceless to this priceless. town. Yeah. It really is. And uh, I can't find the damn photo. Yeah. It don't matter. You're amazing. <laughs> but oh, who here else, it is. Who else would get involved in this? Right? See, now here's Helen, question mark, and John A. Biles and Sarah. That's a great period photograph for Tawanda. Did you know, Tawanda produced uh, on a different model some of the best farming machinery here, a Eureka mowers. Huh. And he sat down and straddled through the center, and they they finally went uh, belly up. Yep. They moved out. And that's Eureka, huh? Eureka mowers. They were big time, and that's like 1870. So, again, Way prior to. It's about the same time the courthouse kept having trouble with fires. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not funny. Did you did you hear the history of the courthouse they had down at the uh, Keystone? That was an interesting. When was that? No, I didn't. I might actually have the audio of if I can find it. You know? get this shit out of it. I think I have uploaded it somewhere. I know a while back I did some research on that courthouse and the amount of stuff it went through just with fires. Yeah. Well, the jail was there. The jail, the jail. Uh, they were setting fires in the jail so they no, get out. You know. <laughs> Smart, huh? Not too. 